In this video, we're going to show you how you can add sophisticated logic to your forms to create tickets for registrations for say things like conferences or camps or other, other events. Um, so to start with on the left hand side, um, I clicked forms and now I'm going to click new form and I'm going to call this a glow conference uh, 2021 um, and we're going to click continue. Now, by default, our forms will add a contact field uh, just to get you started on the left hand side. Um, I'm going to click that contact field and I'm going to get rid of the uh, gender field and the date of birth field and just the phone number field as well. So I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to click the contact field so it's selected and I'm going to change that to be adult. And I'm actually going to change the key here as well just to make things simpler later on. I'm going to click this little pencil. I'm just going to call that adult also. And I'm going to change the minimum answers to zero, the maximum answers to uh, zero, and the ask count to zero also. And we'll just reset the form so that we can see exactly what the form will look like to the user. And you'll see that now we just have a button that says add adult. And if I click that, it adds an adult and we can add as many adults as we like uh, or remove the adults also. Now on the right hand side, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click create tickets for this contact. And I'm going to then click add configuration. You'll notice that when I tick create tickets for this contact, it adds a little green ticketing icon up here. Uh, that's just to show that this adult is a ticketed person. Um, we could add other contacts like emergency contacts and things like that onto our form that may not actually get a ticket to the event. But for this, we want the adult to actually have uh, the ticket. But yeah, back over here on the right hand side under ticketing, I'm going to click add configuration and I'm going to write adults. And I'm going to choose for the event I'm going to browse for my upcoming events and I'm going to choose the glow conference and then click done. Then I'm going to click continue and you'll see that now uh, when we add an adult, uh, when that person registers via this form, it's going to create them an adult ticket uh, to the glow conference. That's great. Now what I'm going to do is tap these three dots next to where it says adult. I'm going to click duplicate field and I'm going to create a youth uh, and we'll scroll down here to the ticketing options, click edit, and we'll just change that to youth also. And then I'm going to tap the three dots, duplicate again. I'm just going to call this child and going to go down here, click edit, and you guessed it, change this to child. And if we click close on that, <clears throat> uh, now you can see we've got adult, youth, and child. I'm just going to make the interface look a little bit cleaner for a uh, person registering on the form. I'm just going to change that from adult to adult ticket, youth to youth ticket, and child to child ticket. So it's really clear what they're, what they're doing there. And from here, um, I'm going to highlight and click the child ticket. And we're going to get a little bit more advanced now. Uh, our conference goes for three weeks, uh, sorry, uh, three days across the weekend. Uh, but we actually have a separate kids conference. So I'm going to go down here. It says create tickets for this contact. And I'm going to click edit. I'm actually going to remove, uh, deselect this event. And I'm going to actually choose a totally separate event, which is a kids conference that happens on the Saturday. So I'm going to click that and then click done and then click close. So now you'll see that the adult, uh, adult here gets registered with an adult ticket to Glow conference. The youth uh, ticket gets registered uh, as a youth ticket to Glow Conference, and the child actually gets registered as a child to Glow Kids Saturday, which is a totally separate event. Now, that means that uh, when the person fills in this form, they can actually register everybody all at once, but they'll actually be registered for different events, uh, which can be really handy. Um, yeah, so now what we're going to do is get a little bit more advanced. So uh, feel free to shut off at this point, but um, let's get into. Uh, doing some more fancy things. I'm going to click adult ticket over here. I'm just going to expand that. I'm actually going to add another field and I'm going to click basic text field and I'm going to write uh, concession and we're going to change the data type to a true or false and the input type to a checkbox and uh, I'm actually going to drag that into, into the adults uh, up here. So we've got our adults and then we've got concession, which just means that when you add an adult ticket, it'll have an option for concession there. And I'm also going to change the title so that this uh, says uh, 
is a concession card holder. Uh, so then you can tick that for each uh, each adult. And what we want to do is actually change the ticket based on whether someone ticks that box. So I'm going to click the adult ticket and then go down here. I'm going to click edit and you'll see that by default they get an adult ticket. But what I actually want to do here is click evaluate, which turns this field into rather than just plain text, it's actually going to be a JavaScript expression now. So I'm going to write model dot concession and then a question mark, which basically says if it's a concession and then put a colon in between. We actually want it to be a concession ticket. Otherwise, it's going to be an adult ticket. And we're going to click close. And uh, yeah, now that will change the ticket based on whether we click this box or not. And likewise, we can do payment modifiers. So we can add a payment, which is like uh, require a payment, and we can add payment modifiers, which we go through in another video. Um, but we can change the the price based on how many adult tickets are selected and things like that. Um, I suggest you check out that video. But for now, I'm going to add this to a realm. We're going to hit save and um, I'm going to untick the require payment because I actually didn't fill in any details there. Um, I'm going to hit save and now we're going to go here and we've got our form, our Glow Conference 2021. So I'm going to click the form link just to show you what it does. And over here, I can now add an adult ticket, add a youth ticket and add a child ticket. So we will add two adult tickets. We'll have uh, Gary Myers, um, gary.myers at flora.io. And we'll have uh, grandpa Myers, um, grandpa flora.io. And he can be a concession card holder. We've got uh, Teenage uh, Myers, uh, it can be Teen at Myers uh, at fluoro.io and a child ticket. Now we can remove fields from kids probably. Um, kid Myers, but uh, we'll do that in another thing. We'll just do kid at fluoro.io. All right, cool. And we hit submit. And we'd obviously have to do all of our payments if we set that up. Uh, but if we click uh, back to here and we click view submissions under the Glow Conference, we'll see our uh, registration there. If we click it, we'll also be able to see that we've got all of the linked contacts there um, and all of their information's come through. But if we go across to tickets, um, just over here, we'll actually be able to see we've got Kid Myers, Teenage Myers, Grandpa Myers, and Gary Myers. Now, Gary Myers has an adult. Uh, Grandpa Myers has a concession. Um, Teenage Myers has a youth, and Kid Myers has a child. Uh, but Kid uh, Myers has actually been registered for this event, this uh, Glow Kids Saturday event, whereas the others have been registered for the whole conference. And that's uh, some of the some of the basics and some more advanced stuff around how you can create tickets uh, from forms.